हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नंद किशोर क्लासेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ डेसिमल्स कंसेप्ट यूजली स्टूडेंट्स फेस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस टॉपिक दैट इज व्हाई वी हैव सिलेक्टेड दिस वन आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल लेट्स सपोज 0.5 टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद 0.3 इफ एट ऑल एनीबॉडी हैज डन दिस टॉपिक बिफोर यूजली you know students learn it by shifting of decimals counting of decimals i would like to avoid that as of now because i want to clarify the basic concepts and basics needs to be strong you will always remember throughout the life see this is 0.5 0.5 can be written as 5 by 10 i hope you are aware that how to convert a decimal number into fraction but still i am explaining after decimal you need to count the number of digits we are having only one digit that is why only one zero in the denominator do remember it same way 0.3 0.3 means it will be 3 over 10 because when you remove the decimal after decimal only single digit is there that is why single zero is coming in the denominator now just multiply them numerators are multiplied with each other 5 time 3 is 15 denominators are multiplied with each other 10 time 10 is 100 question is simple now in the denominator two zeros are there that means in the numerator after decimal two digits should be there one and two these are the two digits i am already having so its answer is 0.15 i have done the reverse process this is the basic concept behind the multiplication of decimals and i find it really easy let me do another question let's suppose we have another question 0.15 multiplied with 0.3 let's suppose we want to multiply these two numbers now what we need to do here after decimals two digits are coming so i can write it as 15 over 100 and for 0.3 i can write it as 3 over 10 now multiply the numerators with each other and denominators with each other 15 time 3 is 45 100 time 10 is 1000 now try to understand this question very carefully i am having three zeros in the denominator whereas in the numerator i am having only two digits so the point is when three zeros are there in the denominator then in my final answer after decimal i need three digits so what i will do two digits i am already having one additional digit we are adding that is zero so that after decimal three digits rule is actually applicable it becomes 0.045 i hope you are clear with this concept we are going to do one more question for more clarification just one minute i am doing here i hope this basic concept is getting cleared now let's suppose you have 0.03 times 0.002 let's suppose this is the question now this can be written as 3 over 100 it can be written as 2 over 1000 right now 3 multiplied 2 is 6 and in denominator you are having now five zeros after multiplication 6 upon 1 lakh now its final answer should contain after decimal total five digits whereas i am having only one digit 6 remaining four zeros needs to be added here your answer will be 0 0 0 0 then you will write 6 this is the final answer now this was all about the basic concept behind the decimals multiplication now in short if we see what you can do let's suppose 0.3 times 0.2 this is the question 
in short what we say forget about decimals just multiply 3 and 2 3 and 2 multiplied we get 6 but this is not the final answer now we need to think what to do with the decimals see after decimal how many digits are there one digit in the second number after decimal how many digits are there one digit so one digit is coming extra here one digit is here so one plus one you need to add them one plus one is two that means in my final answer after decimal two digits will be there so directly i can write it but what happened why i taught you basics because usually this addition or something usually people forget after some time this some time can be some months some weeks or some year whatever it depends on individual to individual but the basics if they are strong then any time you can recall it for example let's suppose one more question 0 0.04 multiply 1.2 forget about decimals 4 multiply 12 12 fours are 48 now count the decimals first term is having after decimal how many digits two digits second is having one digit 2 plus 1 3 that means in my final answer after decimal three digits should be there three digits means two are already there place one more zero that's it that means 0 0.048 is the answer i hope you are clear with this concept now i am giving one question for you please try out that question 0 0.04 multiply 0 0.03 Please write its answer in the comment box. I would also like to see whether you are clear with the concepts or not. But I hope you really like this video and you are able to understand the whole concept. Please share it with others as well. Thank you so much.